right? So here I want to check that which cell starts with a particular value. So for this, I'm going to use the if function and within the if function, I am going to create a condition using the left function. So I want to check that what are the cells and which cell is basically start with the value LXI. So what I'll do, I'll select this cell and I'm going to use three. So left function will give me the first three characters from this cell. And now I'm going to specify the condition here. So it will get the first three characters. And here I have condition to test that what are the first three characters in any of these cells has LXI. And if it's there, I want to get yes. Else, no. So it says yes. That means the first three characters here are LXI. And when I drag and drop this formula, so it says yes, because here the value is LXI and here the value is LXI as well. And now I want to get the count of cells where the starting value is LXI. So for this, I'm going to use left function again. And instead of specifying the single cell, I'm going to specify the entire range. And along with that, I'm going to specify a condition to test and that's checking for the first three characters. Now when I hit enter, it returns an array where I have true or false based on the result of the condition. And now the next thing I need, I need to convert these true and false into zero and one. And for this, I'm going to use the double minus sign and it returns me one and zero for true or false. And now to get the count in a single cell, I'm going to use some product function here. And here I have the count that is three means there are three cells where the starting value starting three characters are LXI. All right. So now let's say if you want to test that the first three characters of a cell are numbers or not. So for this, again, I'm going to use left because I want to extract the first three characters and three to get the characters here. And now I'm going to use the value function here to convert these numbers into actual numbers because if these numbers are stored as text, so this function will convert it into a actual number. And now because I need to test that if this value that I'm extracting from the cell is a number or not, I'm going to use is number function, which is an information function that allows you to test a data type from a cell. So it says true because the first three characters are one, two, four, which is a number. And now I will simply wrap this. Get a yes if condition is true or no if condition is not true. And here I have my result. Yes, where the first three characters are number and no where the first three characters are not a number.